you may be seated. You are timid to be very, very courageous. Time for you to make a promise of commitment to each other. So please answer this question. And we'll start with you, Taylor. Do you, Taylor, take Rebecca to be your wife? Do you promise to love and respect her in good times and bad, remaining true to her as long as you both are alive? I do. And Rebecca, do you take Taylor to be your husband? Do you promise to love and respect him in good times and bad, remaining true to him as long as you both are alive? I do. Any component of a wedding includes vows that are given and received. And Taylor and Rebecca have written mm -hmm. vows to each other, and so now I would like to ask Taylor to share the vow with Rebecca. <clears throat> Rebecca, there have been times in my life where I decided I can do all of this on my own. There have also been stretches in my life when everything has seemed like an uphill battle. When I met you and got to know who you were as a person even further, I understood a fact that I, hadn't, that I had been unable to see for so very long. The fact was that help, support, and love are the basic needs of all human life and that I needed those things just like anyone else. Every single day, you inspire me to be the best possible man I can be. Your childlike wonder, along with your incomparable persistence, creates and sustains a beautiful environment for our family. I am astonished at how well you can balance a million different things while doing an excellent job with each of those, all with a glowing smile. You make me feel absolutely driven to grow and face life challenges with you. In return, I promise to never get complacent with our growth, I promise to continually show you honor and respect in everything that we do. I promise to be there at all times, good and bad. On days that seem like they're never gonna end, I will be there for you, ready to hold you, nurture you, and restore you. I promise to be there for Elijah, just as I am for you, and love him as my own. And I promise to make my time, efforts, patience, and love for you and Eli the number one priority in our life. Rebecca, I know how blessed I am to have found you. And I'm still in awe every day that you truly love me for who I am. I'll be here with you for the rest of our lives and into eternity. Thank you. And Rebecca, it's now your turn to share your vows with Taylor. I don't have that paper here. Handwritten, huh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I am standing here with you, and I can hardly believe it. I am here today because you have asked me to be, and for that I feel eternal happiness. We're far from where we started, and I couldn't be more sure that you and I were meant to journey on together. I promise to listen to you always and hear the places that you desire to go. I promise to uphold our beliefs right beside you. I promise to join with you in times of chaos and of strife. I promise to cry with you in feelings of grief and loss. I want you to know that I will always, always strive to bring sunshine into your heart and into our home. I will always lay with you at the end of a long day and talk with you until we can laugh about the day's happenings. <laughs> I promise to constantly try to do each day better than, than the last and to accept that some days just aren't good. <laughs> Thank you for loving me. Thank you for the heart that you have and have kept whole. I love you so much and I will always stand by your side. Thank you. <laughs> At this point in the ceremony, we'll give and receive rings. The rings that Taylor and Rebecca have selected for each other obviously are circular, and in that they show the never-ending and unconditional love that they have for each other. Taylor, I'm going to ask you to take the ring you've selected for Rebecca and place it on her ring finger to show your love and commitment. Please take the ring you've selected for Taylor, place it on his ring finger to show your love and your commitment. Thank you. 
For as much as Rebecca and Taylor have consented to gather in holy wedlock and have done this before God and this company and have given and pledged their vows to each other and have declared this by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife and you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Avery.